Hello, dear students. How are you? Hope you are fine. Today we are going to discuss Chapter Two together. But before we start, I'd like to remind and ask you: Did you read the chapter to answer our previous question? What was the young woman's serious trouble? If you read the chapter, you will know the answer. So let's make sure you know the correct answer. Before we listen to the audio. I want to ask you a question. What do you think the woman will say? Let's listen. Chapter two. Doctor Grimesby Roylott. The woman paused for a moment to collect her thoughts. Then she said, "You should know that my name is Helen Stoner and that I live with my stepfather, Doctor Grimesby Roylott." I know the name. Holmes said, "At one time, the family was very rich, but over the last few hundred years, the Roylotts have lost their money. There is now very little left, except for a big old house and a few acres of land. My stepfather was able to borrow some money to go to the university to study to be a doctor. He then went to India, where he hoped to make a lot of money. At first, things went well, but then." Something happened. Yes. What do you think the woman will say? Yes, she will introduce herself. When someone sees someone for the first time, he introduces himself. And she introduced herself as Helen Stoner. She had a twin sister who died. With whom did Helen live? Well done. She lived with her stepfather, Dr. Grimesby Roylott. What do you know about Dr. Roylott? Excellent. He was her stepfather. He was once rich. He was a doctor. He went to India, but he left India after some time. Why did Dr. Roylott leave India? Let's listen to know the answer. The woman paused. She was trembling slightly. I thought. Go on," said Holmes. "There were some robberies at his home, and my stepfather became very angry. He thought that one of the servants was the thief. He beat him so badly that he died. My stepfather was sent to prison for a long time for murder, and when he got out of jail, he returned to England with nothing. While he was in India working as a doctor. Now, why was Doctor Royle sent to prison? Very good. He was sent to prison because he beat a servant so badly that he died. Because Doctor Ryder thought that he was a thief after some robberies at his home. Can you tell me what did Doctor Ryder do after he got out of jail? Yes. Well done. He returned to England with nothing. They lived in the big old house, the only thing he had. And a few acres of land. Helen proceeded telling Mr. Holmes more about her family and how her mother married Doctor Royle. But what was the problem Mr. Holmes could imagine? Let's listen. He met and married my mother. I am a twin, Mr. Holmes. My sister Julia and I were two years old when my mother and Doctor Roylott married. My real father had been killed while I was a baby. He left my mother quite a lot of money. Sadly, she was killed in a railway accident not long after we came back to England. My stepfather inherits the income from my mother's investments for as long as my sister and I live with him. However, if either of us marries. He will cease to receive any money from her will. We will receive it. Holmes nodded. He could imagine the problems that such a will would create. Now, what was the problem? Yes, the problem was the will. Doctor Roylott inherited the income from their mother's investments as long as the twin lived with him. But what happens if either of them marries? Excellent. Doctor Roylott will cease 
will stop to receive the money, but the twin will. A terrible change came over my stepfather after my mother's death. Helen Stoner continued. We all went to live in the big old house, but instead of being friendly to the neighbors, my stepfather fought with everyone. Two of the fights were so bad that the police took my stepfather to court. Last week, he threw a man off a bridge into the river, and it was only by paying the man's family a lot of money that this case did not end up in court. His only friends are the gypsies. He lets them camp near the house. Sometimes he goes off with them for a few weeks. He does have one friend in India who sends him animals. At the moment, he has a cheetah and a baboon. Everyone changes. Dr. Royalty changed after Helen's mother's death. How did Dr. Royalty change? Well done. A terrible change came over her stepfather. Dr. Royalty fought with everyone. He threw a man off a bridge. His only friends were Jebus. He kept wild animals like a cheetah and a baboon. He was a dangerous, aggressive person. Now Helen will speak about the accident and how was Dr. Royalty's reaction about the weather. Let's listen. But that is not the worst thing, Mr. Holmes. Two years ago... But that is not the worst thing, Mr. Holmes. Two years ago, my sister died. I'm sorry to hear that, Holmes said. It is about her death that I wish to speak to you. As you may guess, my sister and I had no chance to meet anyone. However, we have an aunt who lives in Harrow. When we were visiting her on a short holiday, my sister met a man with whom she became friendly. It was not long before he asked her to marry him. When we got home, my sister told my stepfather that she was going to get married. He said nothing. But a fortnight before the wedding, a terrible thing happened. I noticed that Holmes had now closed his eyes and was listening very carefully, as was his habit. Now he half opened his eyes and said, Please try to remember everything about your sister's death. That is easy, for I can never forget what happened. Miss Stoner said with a little shiver. Yes, Dr. Royalet said nothing about the weather. What was the terrible thing that happened? Let's listen. As I told you, the house is very big and old. We only live in one part of this house. As I told you, the house is very big and old. We only live in one part of this house. The bedrooms are on the ground floor. The first bedroom is my stepfather's. The second was my sister's. And the third one is mine. There are no doors between the rooms, but they all have doors that open into a corridor. The bedroom windows all open to the garden. On the night my sister died, Dr. Roylott had gone to his room early, but he had not gone to bed, for she could smell the cigars he smoked. This smell made my sister feel ill, so she came to my room, and we talked about her wedding. At eleven o'clock she went to her room, but as she was leaving she said, have you ever heard a whistle in the night? Julia told her sister about the cigar and the whistle. How could Julia smell the cigar in her room? Pay attention to know the answer. Julia told her sister that she heard the whistle for the last few nights. Let's listen. Never, I said. But why do you ask? Because for the last few nights at about three o'clock, I have heard a soft sounding whistle. I told her that I probably did not hear the whistle because I slept more deeply than she did. We said good night 
and a few minutes later I heard the key turn in the lock of her bedroom door. What do you think about the whistle? I want everyone to think about the whistle. Now please pay attention to the main points. He left my mother quite a lot of money. Sadly, she was killed in a railway accident not long after we came back to England. My stepfather inherits the income from my mother's investments for as long as my sister and I live with him. However, if either of us marries, he will cease to receive any money from her will. We will receive it. After the death of Helen's mother, Dr. Royalty changed it a lot. He fought with everyone. He threw a man off her bridge into the river. His only friends were the Jebuses, who camped near the house. He kept animals like a cheetah and a baboon. He was a dangerous, aggressive man. If you want to know the answer, please read the story. Read and prepare chapter 3, and we will discuss it together. See you next time, inshallah.